Okay, you know one of the things that I am terrible at probably makes me a horrible person? I always forget to send happy birthday text messages to my friends. I love my friends, you know, and I mean well, even if I write in Google Calendar, it's something that my mind, my brain doesn't have a space for for whatever reason. So naturally, like we do with everything in our lives, I'm like, why do I not have this automated? Why do I not have a Python script running that will check yearly to see when it's January 29th or when it's February 15th, whatever the day is for my friend's birthdays, and send out a happy birthday text message. So of course, I got to work and did just this. I'm using ChatGPT, really enabling or trying out to use ChatGPT to build this for me. I mean, we're talking about automation here. Let's see how much we can automate with our code. Now, there are a lot of alternatives to ChatGPT. I'm not saying it's the best one to use out there. I'll list some down here. But because it's so hyped up right now and everyone's talking about, I'm like, I gotta use ChatGPT for this. So in this video, we are going to be building a Python script that will run, creating a job that will run and check for a certain date. You can put whatever date you want in there, a specific time. And then we're also going to be using Twilio. I love Twilio, it's so much fun to automate the process of sending out text messages. And in this case, sending out happy birthday, but we can really alter this code for whatever reason you want. All right, let's get into it. Oh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I love making these videos for you around tech, coding, career. Leave in the comments other questions you have, uh, what topics you want me to cover. I answer every single one of your comments. Do you wanna put me to the test? leave down below and I'll make sure to answer. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, you can see here I have chat GPT. Chat GPT, why is it so hard to say? Open and let's just get right into it. So the more specific, of course, you can be the better. And this is something where I think there's always that argument of are programmers going to be replaced? No, we're going to be working on more difficult and complex tasks. And thanks to ChatGPT or other AIs, we can actually use them as assistance to do some of the simple things. And in this case, let's tell it to write a script for us in Python to send text messages to our friends on their birthday. And whatever the date is, obviously I'm gonna to choose today's date because I wanna see the result today, just to test out. So let's get into it. Write a Python script. We're gonna to have to sign up for Twilio, but let's just do this first. Write a Python script for me to, that sends out a happy birthday text message to my friend every year on January 29th using Twilio. Let's see what happens. I actually have never typed this in before, so let's see what happens. All right. Let's speed this up. One thing I really like though about ChatGPT is it does provide you comments as to what it's doing and the whys it's doing it. So, uh, you know, this is where you're gonna put this, this is where you're gonna put your ID. It, it gets very specific, which is really nice. All right, so as expected, we need to set up a Twilio account. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm, and it also didn't create a job for us. So you can see here, you can schedule the script to run using a task scheduler which we will get it to create a job for us as well. But let's first do Twilio. I'm gonna go here to Twilio and create a free account. I forget if I have one. I think I have one. Give me a sec here. If you already have one, log in. If you don't, create one. <laughs> okay, so I got my Twilio account set up, which I'm not gonna share with you at this time, but just make sure you are logged into a Twilio account. And also to create a new project with VS Code, create a new file in that project. I just did main.py. Now, first things first, let's get our Python virtual environment set up. I always forget this. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm a JavaScript person at heart. So let me scroll here and I have Visual Studio Code. I'll link these docs down below because they're so helpful no matter what stage you're at with Python. And you can actually just go to, well, I'll just link it down below, but basically it shares with you how to create a virtual environment in the terminal. So I'm on Mac, so I can just simply copy this. And this is obviously assuming you follow the steps prior. So you have Python installed uh, on your computer. Now let's go back to there. And there we go. Perfect. And go back, what's next? And I think we can just start installing after this, installing projects. That's why we need to uh, create a virtual environment is I need to be able to install some of these packages that ChatGPT was telling us to install. 
So if I go back to ChatGPT, let's copy this code here. And as it's telling us, we need to replace account SID and auth token, and then also to schedule a script to run. So I'm going to get this code working first to test it out, and then I'm gonna come back to ChatGPT and give it more commands to create a job for us so it will run uh, yearly. Okay, let's go. I don't know why I get so excited about this stuff, but I do. Okay, let's go back into VS Code. Paste. And we need to do um, SID and your auth token. So let's go to your Twilio. I'm using my test credentials here. And then enter in the recipient's phone number. For me, I'm going to enter in my phone number just to test it out kind of thing. And then from, this is just Twilio's phone number. Okay, so. First things first, let's see what happens when we run this. Actually, we've got to install these packages here. So let's go back to VS Code and do this. We want date time to be installed. Perfect, and we also want, I believe it was client to be installed. Let's go back to here. Perfect, client. Oh, sorry, that wasn't client, it was import client from Twilio REST. Oopsies. Why are you writing up? I guess just, just install the whole Twilio. Okay, we already have Twilio installed. I think we're good. All right, so what happens if we run this? Let's just test it out. No module named Twilio. Well, let's install Twilio. Oh, I must have typed something in wrong. There we go. Now what happens if we run this? Mm -hmm. Hmm, maybe it's because I was using the test account. Okay, hold on a sec here. Okay, you know what I didn't do? I didn't update the uh, from number, Twilio phone number. So make sure you update it to whatever Twilio phone number they are giving you. So I just did that there. Let's go ahead and run this. Can you hear people walking above me? It's, it's kind of getting loud in here. We got this, we're doing this. Run Python file and terminal. And you can see here, that's what it says. And I actually get the message for it on my phone. So let's pull up my phone here. Okay, I've been trying to do it a little bit before I showed you. Well, you can see here, well, actually, maybe I'll, you know what, I'm gonna send, I will insert an image, actually, because you can't see how bright it is. But basically, it said, happy birthday sent from your Twilio trial account. So obviously, if you pay, the sent from your Twilio trial account will be gone, but it's so cool how you can automate all of these things. Like, this is so useful for anyone who genuinely forgets to send happy birthday messages. Okay, so we got it working to this point, but obviously the next point is we need this to be a job that runs yearly. So let's go back to ChatGPT here and let's go copy this code again and go using write a job for this code that continue to run to check if it is January. That will, let's, you know what, let's take their writing that can every year write a job for this code that will, that will schedule a script run to that. Okay, let's see what they say. You know what I'm gonna do instead? I know what's gonna do, it's gonna write, yeah, I don't really wanna do that, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's search up Python job scheduler. Let's see what it says here. Seven ways to X scheduled jobs in Python. Okay. API scheduler. I think that's like what I've used before, which is really good. I really don't want you to use Chrome tab just because. Okay, let's try doing the first one, API scheduler. Using API scheduler, okay. Then let's go back to here. Write a 
use API scheduler for this code to schedule the text message to go out every year on January 29th. Okay, I'm just gonna copy the code again. Let's see what it says. Okay, while it's writing that, I wanted to highlight here, this is just something really fun to do, and you can really think, though, of the different use cases that you can use ChatGPT for, from writing code from scratch like we are doing, to then debugging it like we are doing. Uh, we can also use it for documentation to comment on what the code is doing. The use cases for it are really infinite in the sense of you can use it to whatever way suits you the best and I really like that we're doing this project because I feel like we're showing many different ways to be productive in your code and how to utilize this tool to the best of its ability. It's not going anywhere. It's here to stay. Why not rather than fighting it and pushing this tool away, embrace it and just make your coding experience even better by having some fun with it. Okay, we're writing it out still. I'm going to speed this up. And it also does a great job too of explaining. Like honestly, ChatGPT does a better job of explaining the answer it's giving than a lot of resources in Stack Overflow, to be honest with you. Just saying. Okay, so we can see here our code's definitely been updated a bit uh, to scheduler, add jobs, send message, month one, day 29. I've used this API for other Python jobs and it's just like, Chef's kiss. It works so easy. It's so easy to use and it just takes all the stress away for you, I find. Hour zero, minute zero. No, we gotta run this the right time. But first we gotta uh, install background scheduler. Let's go back in here. This is building together in real time. <laughs> no one's perfect, or I'm not anyways. If you are, good for you. Congratulations. Must be boring. <laughs> okay, so let's update this code now. Also, it's kind of a pain in the butt because we need to transfer over our uh, account SID token and auth token, but that's okay. And also make sure to update your Twilio phone number and uh, recipient's number. Recipient's number, put in your own to start with. Okay, I'm gonna paste it down here actually because then I'm gonna transfer over my ID and token, which I'm not gonna show you. So give me a minute, will you do that as well? Okay, there's one other thing we need to do before we run this job. I want it to run, I wanna test it out now. And right now for my time, it is 125. Do this for whatever time it is for you, like a minute in advance. So let's go to, wait, where is the message I'm sending? I don't wanna send that, I want to send message.body first of all. I wanna say happy birthday. Then let's go back to chat GPT and say, um, schedule the above code to run at 1.27 p.m. January 29th. Let's see. I hope I'm giving myself enough time. Obviously, you just changed the hour and minute. I'm assuming it's like 13.29. Let's see. Could have just looked at the documentation, but we're already in ChatGPT. Yeah, it's hour 13, minute. So whatever it is for you, if it's uh, 2 p.m., then do hour as 14, <laughs> et cetera. And then same with minute. Okay, let's go back in the code. Let's do hour 13, and then the minute I'm gonna do 28, just because it's already 27. Now let's go run Python file in terminal. Hmm, what are we getting here? The localized method is no longer necessary. Hmm. Old attribute. Let's see. Go to here. The above code is giving me this error. Solve it. Now, let's see. Are we using the localized method? I didn't think we were. We are not. So, to fix the warning, you can remove the localized method. We didn't use it, did we? I'm looking here. Okay, this isn't very smart because it's giving us the same freaking code. Okay, we got it to run. This is amazing. Actually, you know what? Let me show you on screen here. Can you see it? Okay, it's pretty bright. Let me add in an image here of it, a screenshot. This is a really fun project to do, a really simple project to do. I'll share the code down below. Essentially why it wasn't running is because we didn't have time 
time zone uh, part of the code. So I asked ChatGPT, why is this code not running? Add in the time zone. It did that very quickly. And there we go. This is just the, woo, what's going on with the hair here? Uh, this is just the power of ChatGPT though. We use this for so many things, as I mentioned, from debugging, creating the code, documenting it, understanding the comments for it, uh, to automating our life. I mean, who doesn't want to send out happy birthday message, not even think about it? It's so stressful. I always forget people's birthdays. I'm like, oh, I feel so bad. So this is a huge, a huge relief to me. Anyways, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed going along with it. Let me know what other crazy things I should automate with my life, with Python, with our lives. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.